To continue with my week of making gallium fidget spinners, I thought it would be fun to try making a dollar sign spinner. So I got out the red plasticine and rolled it out into nice long worms with even diameter. Then I used it to start drawing out the dollar shape on this tray. This is going to be our mould. First I made a large S shape. Then I took a metal ruler and cut two lines down the middle here for the vertical bar. And I removed these bits of plasticine. I need to fit this skateboard bearing in the middle somehow, so I cut out a space which was big enough for it to sit in. We'll also need to have a ring of gallium around the bearing to hold it in place. Next I used some more of my plasticine worm to start shaping the vertical bar on the top and on the bottom. Then after that I continued adjusting the mould, chopping and adding more plasticine until I got something which looks like this. Next I took some pieces of gallium which I'd used previously, placed them in a bowl and poured some hot water over them to melt it all. As before I sucked it up in a syringe and removed the water so it's ready to inject into the mould. The plasticine walls hold and shape the gallium really well, but I did still manage to spill a little on the bearing. So I sucked that up with a smaller syringe, then continued to fill up the mould. I left it to cool down and go solid, then removed it from the mould. Pretty cool, huh? It's not perfect by any means, but it is quite fun to try. When I spin it, it feels a bit out of balance because one side is heavier than the other. I removed these centre caps from this black spinner and pushed them into mine. Looking at it, you can see that this piece of metal here is a lot bigger than on the other side, which is why it feels out of balance. So I decided to take a lighter and try melting some of the metal to see if I could reduce it. Gallium melts at about 30 degrees C, so I can turn it into a liquid with this lighter and let it drip into the tray. I also reduced the lump on the other side so that both sides match. And there it is, it's lost its shine a little bit, but it does look a lot more even. And when I spin it, it feels a lot better balanced. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.